what's up everybody welcome to another video of immortal engines today is gonna be me experimenting with a new way of making videos i currently have the camera on my forehead let's see how that goes i have a surprise for you i've been uh working uh, very hard lately didn't have much time to make videos but i did have some interesting things come along let me show you all of you guys what i have recently acquired ta-da oh yeah yes i did i got a jet ski would you look at this thing it's in uh to be honest it's in outstanding condition the paint is just dirty but there's nothing faded look at the plastic everything looks like they're new this thing has been taken care of really well look at the stickers stickers are the first thing to go uh the trailer is in good condition as well um, so let me tell you real quick how I came across this thing. I had fixed a generator that I probably posted a video for it. I acquired a little Yamaha generator that I fixed, posted online. Some guy messaged me, hey, are you interested in any trades? And usually I'm not, so I said, yeah, no, I'm not really interested. I'm more interested in getting money for it. But he said, no, let me show you what I got. So I said, okay, what do you got? He sent me a picture of this. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't resist. I said, okay, let's go check it out. I went and checked it out. It didn't start, but I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I took a chance on it and brought it home. When I brought it home, I had to connect the battery so that it would charge up. And after I had the battery charged, um, it started. So let me start it up for you guys here so you can hear it. This is a 1997 Sea-Doo XP. Oh wow, I nailed that. Okay, that's going. Gas is on. It's fired up. <laughs> that was something so basically what's wrong with this jet ski at the moment is that here this is a common issue this is a made out of cast aluminum and it seems like over time these welsh plugs right here will start to corrode these plugs are here because when they cast it they kind of need the metal to flow out basically what this is this is an exhaust manifold that has a smaller diameter tube inside and then it's got a bigger diameter outside pipe and in between uh, cold water flows you see uh, it goes through the head and whatnot it goes through here or in from here out of there oh look at that it's still dripping on top of that plug that's not good but anyway um so basically the plug on the other side has is pitted and has a couple of holes on it so what i think i'm gonna have to do is unbolt this remove it from the jet ski and uh, see if anybody can weld that for me and then uh, i had another problem with the jet ski that was caught on video when i was testing it and the problem is that it stalled on me now, I don't know if it stalled on me because it was cold or because the carburetors need, need work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna try and get this fixed or buy a new one and then take it out to the lake again and let it warm up real good and then see what, see what happens. I think it's a pretty good deal. That generator that I got for it, I paid $100 for and I traded with no money on top 
for this jet ski. So I believe I did pretty good. Uh, it's in excellent shape. It looks like it's been taken care of. And once I get to ride it, I'll tell you the full story about this jet ski because it is wild. So let's go ahead and remove this pipe and see what we get. Okay everybody, so I officially started taking stuff off this jet ski. And here's the core plate. Now this part is installed like this. And this is what the plugs should look like. And this is what ours looks like. Now, uh, I didn't get ripped off. I didn't get unlucky. This is a very common problem for this jet ski. In fact, for all of these uh, older uh, sea -Doo's, uh, there's a couple of ways we can go about this. I found a part that's $35 on eBay, but the paint is a lot worse and it doesn't look as good as this. Or I could uh, try and see if um, my friend can weld this for me and that would fix it. Just, you know, probably grind this off, take that old plug or whatever is left out of it, take it off and insert a new piece of aluminum in there and weld it all the way around. It's going to ruin the paint because of the heat but that's okay because that's on the bottom so from the top it still looks nice and pretty and I do like keeping original parts as much as I can I like recycling so I think I'm gonna go that way I'm gonna see if my friend can weld this for me and we go from there Okay guys, we're back. This is a whole nother day. Uh, the last thing we did was remove this exhaust pipe from the Sea-Doo and uh, we had a problem where we had the plug uh, broken. It had a couple of holes in it, but that's no longer a problem. Look at that. We got it all welded and uh, it turned out to be great. It shouldn't be leaking. And uh, if you have this problem, this should now cost you more than 20 bucks. So try and see on Facebook if you have a, like a like a Facebook group for your town and just, you know, for like uh, cars and stuff like that. And uh, just throw in a picture and be like, anybody can weld this for me. Uh, and uh, that's what I did. Somebody uh, tagged a friend and the guy messaged me. He was like, yeah, I can do it for 20 bucks. So sure enough, I, I cleaned it up as good as I could and uh, I brought it over to his place and he welded it in 15 minutes and it's fixed. So my solution was also the, the cheapest one. So now what we're gonna do is I have to remove this uh, sealer stuff because I'm gonna replace it with new one. So I'm gonna do a time lapse, I'm gonna clean this up, gonna clean it on the sea -Doo, put some new one on and reinstall it. Okay guys, so we're done cleaning this surfaces. Uh, we also cleaned this copper ring, I believe it is. We made sure that's nice and clean, silicone free. And basically what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna grab some of that high heat resistant silicone and make a bead of it here. Uh, stick this on there. And then I'm gonna do the same on the exhaust pipe side. Then we're gonna place it on here and bolt everything back on and then uh, after I install everything, I'm probably gonna have to wait a whole day to even try it because it needs to set and it needs to dry. So let's go ahead and get this done, guys.
Okay guys, now we're off to the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall everything. And uh, hope for the best. Hope that everything goes well so that we can test our jet ski tomorrow. I just read uh, the instructions and it says to install everything while it's wet. I did put quite a bit of it on there. So it will squeeze out anyway. It won't look pretty after you squeeze it. So I'm not too worried about the looks. I just wanna make sure that it is uh, strong. So here's the difficult part because I wanna get it on here without just rubbing this all over the place. it's sort of going and I think I landed it there we go try my best not to drop anything let's get this Okay, the instructions said tighten until it's snug, not while tight, so we're gonna stop right there and we're gonna finish the rest before it gets dark. We can't get anything done. Okay guys, so we have everything fully installed. All the bolts are tightened, except this one. This one is tight, but it's kind of tight. So the instructions say to leave it loose for one hour to let it kind of cure, and then go ahead and tighten it all the way. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll come back in an hour, and we're gonna finish tightening that bolt. And we have to wait a full 24 hours for it to cure, and then we can finally get the engine started and maybe take this to the lake and see what it does. Okay, everybody, so we're back at it. Uh, I had installed this pipe, but unfortunately when I plugged in the water, it started to leak from up here. So I had to go ahead and order a new gasket for the exhaust. Uh, that was interesting. I had to obviously unbolt this again, but I did not want to have to do that again down there. So I disconnected here. I found out that there's a bolt there, another one back there, and then disconnect that clamp. And I managed to wiggle it out without having to disconnect it from here. Um, and I ended up uh, getting this part next day. So uh, I did that yesterday. I did some testing and it runs good. It does not leak water this time. And I think it's ready to go to the lake. So I'm gonna bring the car, hook it up real quick and take it to the lake and see what it can do. Unfortunately, guys, we ran out of time for today. YouTube only allows me to upload 15 minute long videos. That's why they always end on that mark. But uh, basically, we are ready to take it to the lake right now. So on the next video, that's what we're going to do. Thank you for watching Immortal Engines. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe. And if you want, even hit that bell notification icon. So the next time I upload, you're notified. Thank you for watching.